in the name of Allah, the most compassionate, most merciful. As for those who emigrated in the cause of Allah after being persecuted, we will surely bless them with a good home in this world. But the reward of the hereafter is far better if only they knew. It is they who have patiently endured, and in their Lord they put their trust. We did not send messengers before you, O Prophet, except mere men inspired by us. If you polytheists do not know this already, then ask those who have knowledge of the scriptures. We sent them with clear proofs and divine books, and we have sent down to you, O Prophet, the reminder, so that you may explain to people what has been revealed for them, and perhaps they will reflect. Do those who devise evil plots feel secure that Allah will not cause the earth to swallow them, or that the torment will not come upon them in ways they cannot comprehend, or that He will not seize them while they go about their day, for then they will have no escape, or that He will not destroy them gradually? But your Lord is truly ever gracious, most merciful. Have they not considered how the shadows of everything Allah has created incline to the right and the left as the sun moves, totally submitting to Allah in all humility, and to Allah alone bows down in submission whatever is in the heavens and whatever is on the earth of living creatures, as do the angels, who are not too proud to do so. They fear their Lord above them and do whatever they are commanded. And Allah has said, Do not take two gods. There is only one God, so be in awe of me alone. To him belongs whatever is in the heavens and the earth, and to him alone is the everlasting devotion. Will you then fear any other than Allah? Whatever blessings you have are from Allah. Then whenever hardship touches you, to him alone you cry for help. Then as soon as he removes the hardship from you, a group of you associates others with their Lord in worship only returning our favors with ingratitude. So enjoy yourselves, for you will soon know, and they even assign to those idols, who know nothing, a share of what we have provided for them. By Allah, you will certainly be questioned about whatever lies you used to fabricate against Allah, and they attribute angels as daughters to Allah. Glory be to Him the opposite of what they desire for themselves. Whenever one of them is given the good news of a baby girl, his face grows gloomy as he suppresses his rage. He hides himself from the people because of the bad news he has received. Should he keep her in disgrace or bury her alive in the ground? Evil indeed is their judgment. To those who disbelieve in the hereafter, Belong all evil qualities, whereas to Allah belong the finest attributes. And He is the Almighty, always. If Allah were to punish people immediately for their wrongdoing, He would not have left a single living being on earth. But He delays them for an appointed term. And when their time arrives, they cannot delay it for a moment, nor could they advance it. They attribute to Allah what they hate for themselves, and their tongues utter the lie that they will have the finest reward. Without a doubt, for them is the fire, where they will be abandoned. By Allah, we have surely sent messengers to communities before you, O Prophet, but Satan made their misdeeds appealing to them, so he is their patron today, and they will suffer a painful punishment. We have revealed to you the book only to clarify for them what they differed about, and as a guide and mercy for those who believe. And Allah sends down rain from the sky, giving life to the earth after its death. Surely in this is a sign for those who listen. And there is certainly a lesson for you in cattle. We give you to drink of what is in their bellies, from between digested food and blood, pure milk, pleasant to drink, and from the fruits of palm trees and grapevines, 
you derive intoxicant as well as wholesome provision. Surely in this is a sign for those who understand, and your Lord inspired the bees. Make your homes in the mountains, the trees, and in what people construct, and feed from the flower of any fruit you please, and follow the ways your Lord has made easy for you. From their bellies comes forth liquid of varying colors, in which there is healing for people. Surely in this is a sign for those who reflect. Allah has created you and then causes you to die. And some of you are left to reach the most feeble stage of life so that they may know nothing after having known much. Indeed, Allah is all-knowing, most capable, and Allah has favored some of you over others in provision. But those who have been much favored would not share their wealth with those bonds people in their possession, making them their equals. Do they then deny Allah's favors? And Allah has made for you spouses of your own kind, and given you through your spouses, children and grandchildren, and He has granted you good, lawful provisions. Are they then faithful to falsehood and ungrateful for Allah's favors? Yet they worship besides Allah, those idols who do not afford them any provision from the heavens and the earth, nor do they have the power to. So do not set up equals to Allah, for Allah certainly knows, and you do not know. Allah sets forth a parable, a slave who lacks all means, compared to a free man to whom we granted a good provision of which he donates freely, openly, and secretly. Are they equal? Praise be to Allah. In fact, most of them do not know. And Allah sets forth a parable of two men. One of them is dumb, incapable of anything, he is a burden on his master. Wherever he is sent, he brings no good. Can such a person be equal to the one who commands justice and is on the straight path? To Allah alone belongs the knowledge of the unseen in the heavens and the earth. Bringing about the hour would only take the blink of an eye, or even less. Surely Allah is most capable of everything. And Allah brought you out of the wombs of your mothers while you knew nothing and gave you hearing, sight, and intellect. So perhaps you would be thankful. Have they not seen the birds glide in the open sky? None holds them up except Allah. Surely in this are signs for those who believe. And Allah has made your homes a place to rest and has given you tents from the hide of animals light to handle when you travel and when you camp, and out of their wool, fur, and hair, he has given you furnishings and goods for a while.